Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So this is going to be a little bit longer series. It's going to be eight episodes uh, for basically explaining how to make a village. So uh, this will take a little bit of time. I'm going to be uh, actually taking the spot up for Friday's video as well to work on this series. So it will only take about a month to complete. Uh, because there's eight videos two times a week so it equals out to about a month so uh, for the basic um, outline you can go to uh, this URL right up here on my website and it will kind of explain the episodes and what we'll be doing and those um, few things as well as the dates here so um, obviously today's date is uh, the 17th but uh, it's getting ready for the um, 18th uh, tutorial. So we're gonna basically be preparing the um, village structures and stuff like that in a world that I have set up. This is the world. Uh, we just need to um, rotate and I'll explain how all that works uh, in just a second. So if you wanna do that, I'll make sure the link is down in the description so you can check out this blog and stay up to date if there's any changes or anything like that. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do, um, like we're gonna be building a village from scratch that basically generates in the vanilla Minecraft world. Uh, one bad, uh, one good idea to actually set up is a direction so you can kind of figure out what you're gonna be doing. Uh, this is uh, facing south, this is facing east, and then this is facing, facing north, and that's facing west. So when you're actually thinking about placing your structures and stuff, you're gonna have to kind of figure out what direction it is. So the best idea to do that is kind of set up that and then you kind of figure out from a rough idea what direction you'll need to be uh, setting up all the other things when it comes down to naming them. So what we're gonna be doing today is the first step and that's prep for basically building the structures. We're gonna need all different types of rotations and uh, we're also going to need a few different building styles so I got the basic uh, structures built so we just need to basically um, save it as something and then rotate it with the structure block and then save it as a new name so we'll start with this one right here uh, there isn't one house that I did not build because I'm going to be basically which house was that that I was going to rotate? I think I was going to rotate these two houses here and then just put it on this axis. There's only two rotations we need for that. Um, but uh, yeah, outside of that, we'll start with uh, this house over here. So they're all interior designed. Uh, they're nicely decorated and stuff. You might want to do that beforehand um, just because it will... Um, be easier to place down the other structures on different rotations unless you want them all different and then that's fine too. So we need a structure block first so get one of those. So once you have your structure block uh, you can do that by typing this command in right here. Uh, once you have that uh, you want to go to your axis that is where all the points meet so again we've covered a lot of these tutorials for structure blocks over here on this channel. So um, outside of that, we're just going to uh, place it down like that. And another good idea is spacing out the structures um, three blocks apart so your roofs don't uh, connect with each other. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to work with um, when actually uh, creating the structures themselves and stuff too, right? So um, keep that in mind when you're building the structures. So we're going to go to save and then we're going to select our coordinates and I'm not entirely sure how big this one is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm assuming eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need an eight by eight and we'll play around with the height in just a second. So eight and then we'll say 10 and then eight and we'll see if that's the right height little bit too high probably about a eight as well yep perfect all right so now that we got that set up uh, what we can do is uh, create the structure so I'm going to actually call this one um, 
our uh, Minecraft, Minecraft structure. Um, well, the little edge and then I'm gonna use underscore uh, house and then I'm gonna set zero and then our rotation. So this is uh, So like I said, with the, the naming and stuff like that, uh, you might want to figure out the rotation so you can put a symbol on what direction. So we're currently facing north this way. So the house is facing north. Um, so what we're going to want to do is uh, set this to N uh, for north. North. Uh, we can't use uppercase because of name spacing. So you want to put a lower N. So basically, what we've done here is we've given it the Minecraft tag, and then it's a village house, and then underscore zero. So that's the type of the house it is, and then what direction it's facing. So it'll be easy for us to figure out later on in the tutorial system. So once you have that, uh, what you can do is, if you want, uh, probably a good idea to actually put some. Uh, blocks down. I forgot to do that apparently. So I'm just going to put down some grass around the structure because it's a little bit elevated right here. So you want to make sure everything's perfectly designed. We're going to have a little pathway here so when we walk in we can actually enter the house and outside of that that's ready to go. We're just going to save it but one thing before you do that what you might want to do is if you're going to be adding entities to the structure you might want to put them in now um, just because uh, it will be easier to basically clone the thing with the entities in it than have to put them in each time. So let's do that and save that and then what we can do is we can go over here and then we will um, open up our load section and we'll rotate this 90 degrees. So now it's on 90 degrees. It's uh, We're basically loading in the other house that we have, but uh, before we do that, we need to press the load button once. It's gonna offset it uh, according to where it's been saved to. So you're gonna have to do some math and we need to go, I believe, um, let's see if that works. So that that's that direction. So uh, let's go eight and that should align. Yeah, that's aligned there. So we need to go one on this direction and then we should be aligned with that. So as you can see, the box is aligned with this one here. It's a good uh, idea to align all your structures like so. So it's easier to figure out where everything needs to be. Now, let's uh, load this in. And the direction is facing, uh, I believe, let's go over here, and it's facing this direction, so it's facing east. So what we want to do now is uh, select our save, whoop, <laughs> our save tab, and it would have been easier if we just kept it. Uh, all right, so one, one, eight, eight, eight. That's our coordinates. We want to paste this in. We want to change this to E for east, and we're going to save that. So now we have two directions set up, and we're just going to do the the rest for these other directions here. So what you can actually do uh, before I forget to say this is you can actually take the coordinates from this one. And you can repeat this process from the north to east, and then you can do east to uh, south, and then e uh, south to west. So that would make it a little bit easier to remember the coordinates you have to offset it by. Uh, we're gonna go to load tab, and then what we're gonna do is load it once, and then what we're gonna do is go eight and one. And this should, if it's on 90, align it perfectly again. So that's just another tip for you. And then what we're gonna do is load that in and it should be facing south, so this way. 
go over here, it's facing south. So uh, we're going to just quickly update this and go to the save tab, paste this in, put an S, and uh, we need one, one, and then eight, eight, and eight, like so. And then we're gonna save it. So this is our south one, and then we can repeat that process to the last one as well. So uh, we'll go over here and paste this down. Go to the load tab, paste in south. Uh, we need this set to eight and this set to one. And we're going to load it in. We need it on the 90 axis. And as you can see, it's perfectly aligned. So once we do that, we can basically uh, just finish off by loading it. And now it's facing west. Yep. So we're just going to update this quickly. And once you got the idea of this, uh, what we can do is I'll uh, do the rest off camera, but uh, that's basically what you need to do first is set up all the rotations. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's great. What is the number for? So just to recap what the numbers for is we're going to quickly do just this first one and I'm going to place this down uh, right here. And then what we're going to do is I believe it's going to be uh, one, one, and I know the X and Z coordinates are eight of uh, the Y coordinates. I'm going to just take a wild guess and say 16 it might be a little bit too low or too high. Okay, too high. Um, probably around 13, maybe. Oh, so close 12. Okay, so once we have uh, our next rotation in, uh, you want to do that grass thing again. Don't forget to do that. Uh, it's actually really important to do because it's going to be aligning the, um, or basically flattening the terrain a little bit. So once you have that in, uh, don't forget your path. And uh, what you want to do is use the same name as north, but update the ID to one. So this is going to be structure one. The other one's going to be structure zero. And uh, that'll just be a little bit easier to keep track of uh, what structures you're basically creating and placing down in the, um, the code later on. So uh, with that being said, just repeat the process and uh, we can actually save that and update all the other ones like you did with this. And um, once you get that done, I'll be working on this uh, later today for uh, basically creating all these other ones. Now I do have to rotate this one. This is uh, set up for two different directions. That one's set up for two different directions, but then it's going to be rotated these directions as well. So this one will be these four here. That one will be these four here. Other than that, that will give you something to start with. Um, take your time with your structures, decorate them as well as you can, because it's going to make a huge impact later on when you actually start implementing the uh, generation part and stuff like that. And it's really not too complicated to set up. Um, there's a certain system. We weren't able to do it before uh, to basically create structures, but um, structures now have a procedure that we can actually start a generation when it's, the structure is generated. So we'll be able to make a, a, you know, a decent sized village with um, basically a few different structures and stuff like that to give it some variety. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.